It looks like a retro camera, but don't let that fool you. It has all modern technologies under the hood. And this little beast has its own secrets up its sleeve that many modern cameras don't have. In this video, I will explain why choosing this camera is still a good investment, even with newer version available. So, whenever you watch, here are the reasons why you should pay attention to this camera. One of the standout features of Sony A7C is its compact and lightweight design, making it one of the most portable full-frame cameras out there. This was stated by the Sony company itself, by the way. Anyway, the camera feels robust and the magnesium alloy construction gives it a premium feel. It also provides all the necessary ports that you may need. One especially remarkable feature is the camera's rotating screen, a very useful thing for filmmakers and content creators. To keep the camera powered, it uses an MPFZ100 battery, which I find to be sufficient for a camera of this size. However, it's always a good idea to have a spare battery with you, especially if you plan to shoot all day. And finally, Sony has made significant strides in enhancing the menu system making it more intuitive. Additionally, the customizable buttons allow you to tailor the camera to your shooting style. So, if you are switching from outdoor Sony camera, you will feel right at home with the familiar layout and menu structure. Under the hood, the camera has a 24 megapixel full frame sensor and the image quality is nothing short of impressive. The colors are vibrant and the dynamic range is excellent. Whether you are shooting photos or videos, you can expect sharp and detailed results. For filmmakers out there, the A7C is a power horse. Footage is crisp and the camera offers various frame rate options. 4K video at 30fps or 120fps in Full HD and inclusion of S-Log2 and S-Log3 profiles gives you plenty of flexibility in post-production. The camera also performs well at night, even at high ISO settings. Sony is renowned for its after-focus technology and the A7C doesn't disappoint. The fast hybrid after-focus system is quick and accurate whether you are shooting photos or recording video, real-time eye after-focus and tracking further enhance the focusing capabilities. The face registration feature, available only on the latest Sony cameras, is also present in A7C. With this function, you can take a photo and register a person's face in the camera, when shooting video or taking photos in crowded settings. The focus will prioritize the registered person if they are in the frame. You also have the flexibility to register multiple people with priority given to the person at the top of the registration list. Of course, the camera features excellent in body image stabilization for shooting handheld. However, let's be honest, in our time, this won't surprise people much. What is more interesting, and sets us apart from many new Sony cameras, is a unique feature. The camera uses a gyro sensor to record its movement. By downloading free software from Sony, you can then use the gyro data to stabilize the video in post-production. Of course, there is a slight sacrifice in video resolution, but in my opinion, the results are truly amazing. Of course, the camera has drawbacks, let's start with the design. The viewfinder on the camera is positioned on the left corner, which may not be as comfortable for photographers accustomed to a central viewfinder. 
This is a cause for compactness. If you are used to using it, then keep this in mind. There is also only one slot for memory cards, which can be a problem if you shoot long videos or require backup. You will have to change them or invest in high capacity and reliable memory cards. And finally, the camera doesn't have the same level of weather ceiling as some other cameras in the Sony lineup. Now, let's move on to the technical problem. What I didn't like the most was that when recording 4K video, IFT focus doesn't work. Why is this? I don't know, but you will have to switch to Full HD if you need this function. The second important reason for me is the absence of 10-bit and 4 to 2 recordings in 4K. Competitors in this price segment offer these capabilities. So, it's surprising that they are not included here. And what about Sony's favorite problem – overheating? Honestly, I haven't had issues with that unlike with older Sony cameras. However, since I haven't shot long videos without interruptions, I can't say how relevant this problem is here. So, should you consider Sony a7C despite its age? In my opinion, absolutely. Its compact design, stellar performance and impressive capabilities make it a versatile choice for both photographers and videographers. While it may not have every feature of its larger siblings, the compromises are minimal considering the advantages in portability. The camera also has its own trump card for filmmakers, the gyro sensor. On the other hand, there is a limitation in after-focus in 4K video and there are some design issues. While the camera isn't perfect, overall, it's certainly worth considering. If you found this video useful, a like would greatly support my small channel. And if you're interested in more content, consider subscribing to stay in touch. Good luck! And see you soon. Investment. 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 In this video, I will explain why choosing this camera is still a good investment. Here's the reason why you should pay attention to this camera. Here's the reason, okay?